what is good osiris here stuck in the middle thank you for joining i want to check in and i, I want to find out how black identitarians are are doing when i say black identitarians I, I mean people who view their skin color as their primary identity and the most important thing that they vote on and like joe biden said they typically vote with the democrat party <laughs> let's let's go in and see how, how are y'all doing first before we get to the main headline california democrats they seem to be edging towards allowing illegal immigrants to legally beat the ass of all americans in california at least by allowing illegal immigrants to become police officers allegedly let me show you more of that but before we get to that i want to set the scene it, so i have ammo to say black identitarians and everyone in our country i'm just going after black identitarians because i don't understand y'all that's that's why i'm talking about it but really for the whole country new york city will allow 800,000 non-citizens to vote in local elections we already found out about this i believe i did a video on this we found out about this late last year huh <laughs> wait you're going to allow 800,000 non-citizens to vote they're going to keep it to local elections but you know they want to do it for everything so they're they're marginalizing all americans and in particular those black identitarians are getting slaughtered they're allowing illegal immigration flooding through the borders hurting the market value on the open market for jobs for those who would be competing for construction and different type of jobs that the legal immigrants might get i don't want anybody to suffer but uh, citizens have to be treated with priority and if you want to come to this country my parents are immigrants you, there's a process to do it legally so black identitarians and the whole country get marginalized by an invasion in the southern border new york city allowing new york city is like the per, the kid in your class that brown noses the teacher all the time you know the brown nose are like oh i'll do this i'll do this and whatever you want even if it doesn't make sense the, you know the one that the rest of the class doesn't really like that's new york so where they go is where california wants to go and then everybody who's a democrat establishment person wants to go from beto o'rourke to aoc to stacey abrams so new york city has already done this allowing 800,000 non-citizens to vote in local elections and then it brings us to the story about california so california is potentially allowing non-citizens to become police officers california dem bill will allow citizens to become non-citizens to become police officers wait wait hold up that can't be real there's no way that's a real bill right that's not a serious thing they have some uh they did some fact checking on it and i'll get to that in a second but we look at it, the new California bill will allow non-citizens to become police officers is the report here. Uh, so there, this is saying that there's an existing law that prohibits a person who's a non-citizen of the United States from uh, being appointed as a member of the California Highway Patrol. And I'll show you the actual verbiage directly from the bill here. This is from the California... Let me take a look at it here. It's from the California legislative website directly. And let's just take a look at that piece of the bill. There's a piece of the bill here that says, if you look at right here, existing law with certain exceptions prohibits, let me get that bigger so I can see it here. Existing law with certain exceptions prohibits a person who is not a citizen of the United States from being appointed as a member of the California Highway Patrol. This bill would remove that prohibition and would make conforming changes. It, this is from the bill, actually from the California website. So they said the existing law prohibits a person who's not a citizen. This bill would remove that prohibition, meaning that's gone, and then it would make some other changes this bill doesn't have any other changes in it 
not not to say this bill has nothing in it read through the bill search through the bill it's not a long bill this is the whole bill right here and it, there's nothing in it saying that uh, people who are not citizens of the united states would 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 be unable to join the california highway patrol <laughs> so you got the legal immigrants across the border you've got the legal immigrants voting you know they want all the illegal immigrants to become citizens because they think they'll vote democrat and get rid of the black they they don't want to depend like if you are in the stock market you don't want too much of your money in one stock so Democrats, in my opinion, think they got too much riding on black Americans, especially when you've got other options like all these illegal immigrants who don't understand the Constitution. They don't understand our culture of the country. They Democrats at least think they'll vote Democrat. Establishment Republicans are fine with the cheap labor. So they're on board with it, too. The only pr people against it are MAGA. <laughs> so you see all these pressures. And now in California, you could legally legally get your ass beat you could be getting your ass beat look up and say it's a california highway patrol officer this hasn't passed yet so we'll see what the final bill says and look up and see that the officer is not even a citizen of the united states <laughs> so you could be you could have been someone who marched for black lives matter and within two years get your ass beat by an illegal immigrant <laughs> If you don't see the problem with that, I, I don't know what to tell you. Let me give you the contrarian uh, point of view. The AP did a fact. Is it called a fact check? Let's see. Are they It's basically a fact check. I don't know if they called it an official fact check. Let's check it out. So, no, it doesn't. It's The title isn't fact check, but it says claim assessment facts. Post distort. And maybe it's because that fact check title is so it doesn't mean anything anymore. So they should probably just stop using it. Post distort California bill allowing non-citizen police officers. Uh, so they would, they would, this person, Angelo Fichero, probably would say my video is misinformation. And I would say, Angelo, you could go kick rocks or just hypothetically, whoever says that, go find some rocks to kick. Let's look at it a little bit closer why I say that. The claim, and uh, the claim, just to be clear, the claim that I'm saying is that the bill, the bill does not explicitly at the state level block non-citizens from becoming police period so here's the claim a california bill would allow illegal immigrants to become police officers and yeah at this point that bill i do think that's how i would interpret that bill at the state level so we'll get to that in a second here ap's assessment false the bill would permit non-citizens who are authorized to work in the u.s to become police officers federal law already bars employers from hiring immigrants who are not authorized to work in the country so there's two things here one the part about the federal law already bars employers okay it's always been the case but that verbiage was in the state bill too there are many laws at the federal level that are also duplicated at the state level. So that's a non-argument. And the state could say, hey, we don't agree with that. And that could be taken to the court system. So that the federal law, irrelevant. I'm talking about from the state. I'm, I'm not even bringing up the federal law. It was already in the state legis le legislation. They're removing it. It was already there. So that's gone, irrelevant, not a part of my argument. The first part, the bill would permit non-citizens who are authorized to work in the U.S. to become police officers. Y yes, it doesn't explicitly say otherwise. Facts, the California bill, bill SB 960 was introduced in February and is still making its way through the legislative process. Okay, I said that, it's not passed yet. The bill seeks to remove a provision, that's what I'm talking about, in state law that requires police officers or peace officers to be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident who is eligible for and has applied citizenship. That's exactly what I said, so we agree there. But in recent days, social media users and blogs have distorted the facts about what it would do. Okay, let's, let's just get to the point here. Many posts link to the Fox News headline that I'm talking about here. But while the bill, so here's a key point. All this BS in this article, listen to this paragraph. This is from the AP. But while the bill does not explicitly address which non-citizens would be eligible to become police officers. <laughs> so it agrees exactly with what I said. The bill does not explicitly say 
which non-citizens would be eligible at the state level. And it did before. It did say before no one who's a non-citizen would be able to do it. So they get again, they say the federal law already prohibits it. The state legislation wouldn't change that. OK, it was already in there. Why? Why are we removing it? And there's many there's tons of laws that are duplicated at the federal level. Let, why don't we just make sure <laughs> is that is that fine? I mean, I don't see any harm in that. That's not a that's not an argument. So they said it would likely apply to recipients of the Deferred Action for Childhood. This is DACA Arrivals Program. They said it would likely apply. You know why the AP said it would likely apply? Because I read the bill and the bill doesn't say anything about that. They're just making that, just making it up out of the thin air. Until you write it into the bill, that's not what the bill says. So you can say likely and appears to be, and I think that's all complete nonsense. And they are the same people that would look at you watching this video and me doing this video and looking at us like we are some type of idiots spreading type of some type of disinformation. They're the ones using the word the bill would likely. I'm talking about what's really in the bill, not what's likely, what's not likely. I'm talking about what's in the bill and what's not in the bill. They're the one talking about hypotheticals and likely. <laughs> they write it in the bill. That's not hard. Just copy and paste that. I'm going to end with this. I can't. I, I, I saw this and I, I couldn't. I, I actually couldn't believe this. I, again, my one last salvo <laughs> against black identitarians and everyone in the country that supports this evil organization of the establishment, cabal, Republicans and Democrat Party. The Peace Corps. The Peace Corps directly, I am directly on the Peace Corps website right now. I am on it right now. Diversity and inclusion. Oh, okay, diversity and inclusion. Okay, I like that. What are we going, what are we going to talk about? Oh, let's, oh, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about an um, inconvenient uh, statement here. Possible considerations for African American or black volunteers to the Peace Corps. You know, independent organization, but that is a government organization. Volunteer voices. People of color face many challenges living in Ukraine. So we're going to talk about Ukraine a little bit. You know, many black identitarians. You you saw uh, Maxine Waters, who just got shouted down in the streets. She, I was like, man, how are you going to be uh, shouted down in the streets here with all these people struggling and not addressing it? And you are supporting money to Ukraine. So this is what Maxine Waters and all the Democrat establishment and every person you see with the Ukraine flag in their bio supports. The people of color face many challenges living in Ukraine. As a Peace Corps volunteer, however, African-Americans will confront far more complicated issues. What type of issues? For modern parts of Ukraine, African-Americans are part of the community and day-to-day -day life. Oh, however, there are many Ukrainians who have never seen a black person before. Oh, Oh, <laughs> their understanding of African-American culture is fueled by the media and African stereotypes. You will generate lots of interest and curious stares. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I guess we're learning why. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe you should be proud to be an American. I don't know. Like you talk about the history of systemic racism and all this stuff, man. They got man. They aren't even at the systemic racism part over there, man. They're at the overt racism. <laughs> it's so bad that the government has to warn you. So these stares can make you uncomfortable and annoyed. Ukrainians initial perception of you may be that you are from Africa. <laughs> it may not. It does help if they understand that you're an American and training in a PST will help you consider ways that you will engage with these assumptions. Wait for it. It's not uncommon. <laughs> Let me make this bigger. So make sure people can see this, that I'm not making this up. <laughs> However, it's not uncommon for Ukrainians, the same Ukraine that we were celebrating on 60 Minutes and we want to send all this money to all the black identitarians, all the black cabal in, in D.C. is like fully on board with. Forget about the Yahtzees and all that kind of stuff. Just from this standpoint, it's not uncommon for Ukrainians to refer to African-Americans as N-word. Volunteers of color may be called a monkey or see children's game with blackface. 
this is the country you're supporting this is the culture you support you put a ukrainian flag out a lot of y'all probably never even had an american flag in your bio before you probably triggered by it nothing like supporting a country that would look at you as n-word and a monkey <laughs> y'all supporting some crazy stuff man same party of the kkk same party of pro-slavery uh, i don't know you, you hey if i think i think a lot of these black identitarians they would go over there just like they embrace the masking and lockdowns they would go over there and embrace the n-word and monkey and look at it as a sign of progress let me know what you think take care